Hey Ubers! Well, today I'm going to show you how to make some of these little key rings. Uh, they're pretty simple, there's nothing to it, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you. Anyway, because someone was asking me uh, yesterday if I would do a little demo. Um, and these are just something new I'm putting together. Uh, and they're basically for me to take to the Art and Soul Retreat. Um, just, you know, it's always nice to have little knickknacks you can take and trade or give or exchange with people. So, key rings are a fantastic way to do that. Um, and, you know, they're all original and they're all little miniature artworks, which is great. And they don't really cost very much to, to make anyway. The most expensive part is buying the, the little keyring itself and I'm sure you can get them at a million different stores really cheap um, so yeah so that's what you're gonna need you're gonna need some of those you're gonna need some collage paper and some scissors and stuff and that's what we're gonna do all right okay let's get into it so got a bit of a mess here but that's how I work um, what you're gonna need is you're obviously gonna need some collage paper um, any printouts of images that you really like. So for example, for collage paper I'm using all of these citrus old papers because um, I've got a whole box of them. Um, for those of you that don't know anything about citrus old, it's a natural cleaner and degreaser. Uh, it comes in a bottle like this. You basically paint it onto National Geographics, uh, especially the older type National Geographics. Um, so you paint it on quite thickly and then you close the book uh, open it, let it dry, close it again, whatever, swirl your paintbrush around and then basically it makes the, the inks run and you get all these beautiful effects and it makes great uh, collage paper. I'm also using images that I've printed out and overlaid uh, in Photoshop. So this is one of Francis Bacon and I've overlaid a um, gothic, uh, some gothic architecture over the top and so it's got a nice pattern. I'm going to use some of that. You can um, also use, which is another great idea, is to take transparency film with a pattern or some sort of design printed onto it. And then you can also cut that, those them out as well to use to add another layer. So first of all, you're obviously going to need your little key rings and you can get them at craft stores uh, you can order them online. I know a lot of places on Etsy uh, sell like bulk orders. You can get fairly cheaply, so you can get them. They're very easy to get in all different shapes, sizes, etc., um, etc. Et so once you've got it like that, it comes with the lid, which obviously closes the uh, your artwork inside. Um, I'm using this as my template. So if you cut everything to that size, you know it's all going to fit inside the actual case. So it's just a matter of uh, cutting out the bits that you like. So, you know, you might go, oh, I like that that little area there. So you just take a Stanley knife or X-Acto knife and then cut around it like so. And then you'll like have a piece like that, which is quite nice. And then you repeat the process for whatever other bits you want. Um, you can use little ripped sections where it's say for example if I've ripped it a nice little teared edge if you've put like a square a square over the tear edge it looks really nice as well so you know just play around go through your scrapbooks and pull out different pieces of paper and you can create all different patterns and designs you know it's even lettering little letters that also makes it interesting and transparency again Alright, so I've already cut out my pieces to speed this process up. So I've cut out a bit of an ornate pattern. So I'm going to put that in first. Because this is double sided, you know that it's going to be two sides. And then I've decided to have this piece of um, citrus oil paper on next. So that's going to sit in so you can sort of see the design there. Then I have um, cut out the word later. Uh, it's sort of got a pink hue to it and I quite like that. So I'm going to sit that in there like so. And then one of my eyes 
um, I'm um, putting in there like that. Now if you want to put a little bit of glue behind it, um, you can do that. But this seal works pretty good so I don't really need to put any glue. Um, here's an example of where I've used one of my other eyes, one of, the, one of my big ones. Um, and you know the and the possibilities are endless. So then it's just a matter of popping on the f the face plate. Now you may have to play around with to get the face plate on, depending on the brand and style. Because I found that to get my face face plates on, it takes a bit of. Sometimes you need to trim the edges up a bit and make sure that it's all square. And um, getting everything just to fit just right does take a bit of manipulation but there you go that worked out fine and um, there you go simple quick and if you want you can put your own website you can print out little bits with you can print out your own little artworks so that's another alternative I've got one line around here where you've I've just printed out an artwork and put the name of the artwork or you can even put your website and cut it to the same size and you know advertising but yep fun simple and the combinations are endless and it's a little artwork so like I said I'm gonna I want to put some goldfish into this work now I don't want to make the goldfish black because I think they'll be too strong for the work so like if I if I put them in there they'll be a bit dark so what I thought I would do is I would screen print them a similar blue to this um, and have maybe you know three or four like a little school of them all shining their beams in different directions um, so I'm just um, gonna screen print uh, some some of them on and um, maybe in another direction and um, see see how they look so that's the next step. Get it right with the vine. Cause love is something you can't shake then. When it breaks, all it takes is some trying. If you feel like leaving, I'm not gonna beg you to stay. Cause soon you'll be So as you can see, I've sort of added these in now. This one sort of came out a bit heavy, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it slightly dry and then I'm going to take my cloth and then wipe it back so I can fade it back a bit. Um, and these ones I'm pretty happy with. The tail didn't complete, it was a little bit heavy here, but I can actually come back with a fine paintbrush and touch up those areas if I want to. Um, but I sort of quite like that sort of effect. But this one, yeah, a bit heavy here, but I think if I let it dry a bit and then rub, try and rub it out, most of that paint will fade away. But um, yeah, I'm actually quite liking that at the moment. Um, once I put the eyes in and then start directing the beams, uh, I think they will, um, they will really come to life. So as you can see what I'm talking about, I've sort of rubbed it right back. So you sort of get like some of the detail, but it's sort of a little bit ambiguous as well. But obviously when you look at the other ones, you can sort of see that they're more um, prominent. And what I might do is I can bring some of these dribbles back to run over the top. So it sort of helps them fade back uh, a little bit. Maybe just fade this one back and leave this one forward. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to go and spray the eyes on. Okay, so I've added the goldfish in now, um, and I put their beams. What I've done is I've made like all of these. Their beams have created like movement and made uh, some marks in swirly directions, which sort of I think I think actually worked really well. So what I might do is I might actually come back with some blue paint and sort of 
really subtly put some shadows into the actual movement so they actually look like they're digging in a bit more sort of create this more of a wave moving into the work um, I actually really like how this one turned out how it's quite ambiguous it's not clearly defined yet you can see some of the basic shapes and I quite like that um, I might come back with some colors uh, some like a darker blue and do an outline and add some more into this and I might even come over with white paint and fade it in bits and bits and pieces so it doesn't look like it's stuck out um, but I'll play around a bit with the actual color and um, we'll see what happens but yeah so far it's coming along it's actually going to evolve a bit more now which is great 